You're not doing any racing today, right? Have a good one, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You too. We're at Sea Otter 2024. I thought we were going to talk about the bike, not the suspension. Oh, man. Suspension's great. Pivots are terrible. Pivots require maintenance. Pivots wear out. Pivots weigh things. So I got rid of a whole bunch of those. Normally, a bike would have a set of pivots right here. I'm not having that. I'm replacing the shock instead with a slider. These are uh, bushings in here like on a fork, and the shock is enormous. Contains much more oil and much more air than every other shock on the market. Hey, what's up, Bike Rumor? This is Will with Cane Creek. Uh, we are here at Sea Otter Day 1 introducing Invert, which is the world's first gravel fork. Uh, what does that mean? So, Invert is super exciting because this is the first fork that combines the smooth and controlled ride that pretty much every gravel rider wants. It's super lightweight. It's the lightest fully functional gravel fork on the market. It's really simple and easy to use. There are very minimal adjustments. There's kind of everything you need, but nothing you don't. And lastly, perhaps most importantly, it finally looks good. We have a fork that actually looks appropriate for drop bar bikes. We can do features. The Invert CS, which is kind of the flagship model. This one here has 40 millimeters of travel and it comes with a climb switch. The climb switch is just a really simple single click kind of on off function. It gives you a nice firm platform for pedaling out of the saddle. It really cuts down on fork movement. And then for folks that want the even lighter, even more minimal setup, we have the Invert SL. The SL has a little bit less travel, so only 30 millimeters of travel, and it loses the climb switch. We've removed that to even slim the fork down more. So this model is less than one kilogram. This is our brand new lift damper. This is a new upgrade damper we're offering for Fox and RockShox forks, as well as earlier MRP forks. Sweet thing about this damper, it's a cartridge format, so it's a really simple installation. You just yank out your old one and drop this one right in. Um, it's offered in five different tunes based on your weight. So it comes preset from the factory to have the right damping profile just for you. So you don't have to mess around so much with trying to get the right feel. It's already set for you. You still have adjustable low speed compression at the top and adjustable uh, low speed rebound at the bottom, but there's different shim stacks we offer. So the high speed damping is already configured for you and your weight. Then we've got updates to our line of suspension forks. First of all, we've got the Ribbon LT. This is an update to our air fork, previously known as just the Ribbon. This features that brand new lift damper. We've also made some updates on the spring side. So we have a brand new ramp control knob that's easier to turn. And we have the new full fill two air spring. This is the most adjustable air spring on the market. In addition to adjusting the ramp control and the progressiveness on your positive side, you have adjustable negative volume. We also offer it in a coil version. So this is the ribbon coil LT. If you want to forego all that adjustability and just get that buttery feel of a coil. Those are our latest forks. As ever, they're offered in 20 different colors, so you can really customize them to your liking. Hey guys, I am here at Sea Otter. We've got the uh, brand new Aston Bikes A170. This is the bike I'll probably be racing this weekend, definitely riding on the downhill track. Pretty sick setup. We've got the uh, 38s up front, which is a sick fork. It's burly, it's kind of stiff enough to feel like a downhill fork. It takes big hits, but still pedals well. We've got FSA components on this. Got the new Pro logo saddle on here. These are the new Continental Crypto Tile tires. Again, just something a bit burly so you can feel like you're on a downhill bike. Got the Hayes Dominion brakes on there. These are the same brakes we use on the World Cup bikes. Super strong brakes, don't get too hot. Flat pedals this weekend from Crank Brothers. Flat pedals a bit more laid back, a bit more fun. Um, and that's pretty much it for setup. I kind of like to run it as a, feels like a downhill bike, but I can still pedal it, so. Plenty of bike there to thrash and give a hard time, but still pedals up the hills well. Cheers, guys. Hey, what's up? It's Warren from Marzocchi. Our newest, sweetest fork is the Marzocchi Super Z. It's our new 38 mil stanchion, super bomber, free ride and enduro fork. It is available anywhere from 150 to up to 190 mils of travel, so you can swap it out for a trail or enduro fork or you can even swap it out for a DH fork. It uh, uses the Grip X damper from Fox, so it's got high and low speed compression, you've got a single rebound option, it is air sprung. It actually uses straight up direct mount 200 mil brake mounts. Quick release comes in red, that's the color that goes fastest and highest. You slap it on and send it. Welcome, welcome. Jake from Olean's likes to talk to you about the new coil kits we're launching for the RXF38 and the DH38. 
So everyone has an air spring on their forks. A lot of people are asking for coil. A lot of people are trying to get coil-like feel with the air spring. Why not just put a coil spring in it? Bang, we got this. You can drop it into any old RXF38. You can also buy it straight from the factory, set up with a coil spring. It's adjustable. Uh, it goes from 180 all the way down to 130 millimeters of travel just by changing down this little pin. DH fork, same thing, full 200 mil of travel. You can adjust it down, so if you have an e-bike, if you have a downhill bike, we can, we can travel with you. Our RXC34, this is our new XC lineup. We've got a new OTX 14 damper, a new XC specific air spring, adjustable negative spring. It's got a single piece carbon crown, shaving about 100 grams of weight off of it. And we have three unique positions with the damper. We have open, that has a very progressive damping curve, so the harder you push, the more supportive it is, but it's very supple off the top. The middle pedal mode is amazing for seating pedaling. It's not gonna dive into holes, but it's gonna blow off, and the wheel's gonna track, give you excellent traction. And of course, with Oleans, we have the adjustable air spring. So the big news for us is obviously, last year we arrived at Sea Otter with our pre-production uh, 91 fork. We were super excited about it. We had some production delays that set us back. So it's now production, it's now available. If you want to take a quick little trip back here, available in black and in bronze. It's 140 to 170 millimeter travel, internally adjustable. This is a coil fork. Push Industries, we are known for premium coil suspension. Coil Sprung has our proprietary air bump stop assembly inside, so you can independently control bottoming uh, performance from the coil spring performance. We have low speed, high speed compression on top, rebound adjust on the bottom, radical inverted design, better handling, better performance, super small bump sensitivity, great big hit control. Push Industries. So Grip 2 Damper, everybody knows it, everybody loves it. We've taken this and we've split it up. This year's all about new dampers and gold forks. Grip X, this is gonna be in our 36, 34, and some 38 options available but it is basically around, designed around a trail rider. So it gives you a 120 grams weight savings over the previous grip too. It does only give you a low speed compression, a low speed rebound, but you still do get high speed compression, low speed compression, and a pseudo lockout if you close the high speed off all the way. Just a little bit of support when you're actually riding down the trails. This is the big boy, Grip X2. Really all it does is get better than the Grip X, or the Grip 2. You get a bigger piston inside that is also available on the Grip X. Do you have 23 shims to dial in the flow balance of this, uh, this fork? So instead of having pressure spikes and things like that that can happen, you now have all that controlled under one. So 24 millimeter piston, 23 shims to tune it in. You've got high and low speed compression and rebuild, rebound, just like the other. And because nobody cares about weight on the big bikes, a little bit heavier due to the added material. Last. This is just a little one. This is in our Grip SL. This goes in the 32 step cast, the 34, the 34 step cast, built around ultimate lightweight suspension. This thing's a three position. The only thing you have for rebound is a tool that will be included in the fork, but this thing weighs nothing, but it gives you the best performance possible. <laughs> hey, bike groomer people. We're out here checking out the latest with SR Sun Tour. So this is our GVX. We've updated this gravel fork to have a hollow crown. It has a PCS damper and our EQ air spring. So super small bump sensitivity, lighter weight than our, our previous version. So we are looking at a brand new fork for year 25. It's a 180 millimeter travel, 38 millimeter sanctions. We've got the air, a new damper, the fine tuned damper, which is two piece. So. It's gonna be uh, pretty exciting. It's our 25th anniversary this year, so we're doing this special sand color and then a dark blue, which is uh, a little bit different from the all black forks that we normally have. Hi, I'm Bryson Jr., a product designer at DVL Suspension. And I'm gonna give you a rundown on our new products. We have the all new Topaz Prime and the JDX Prime. This is our all new Onyx D138 fork, 160 to 180 mil travel, floating axle, our new D1 damper, SL Airspring. We are at the RockShox booth at Sea Otter, and our latest and greatest is our flight attendant system. Flight attendant is great because it's an automatic suspension system, so it will change your suspension for you on the fly, from open to pedal or lock, depending on what is the best for you, the rider, and the terrain. 
What's great about Flight Attendant is that with the addition of the power meter, um, it will learn from you as you go. So, let's say if you are taking it easy for the day, it'll learn from you your own uh, effort levels. Yeah, sweet. I was like, I can keep going, but I don't know if you want me to.